there is a story of an emerging success here in Somalia. This is a country which was mired for decades in conflict, which now has more and better governance than ever before. A country where the rule of law is replacing the rule of the gun. Uh, a country where people who used to flee in their millions as refugees are now slowly starting to return. Two years ago, we didn't have street lights down the street. We didn't have dual carriageway roads in, in Mogadishu. We didn't have a pizza delivery service. We didn't have a dry cleaners. You didn't have an ATM. You didn't have thousands of people on Lido Beach every Friday. I mean, this is a city that is transforming and coming back to life. Millions and millions of children have been vaccinated against uh, polio, against measles. Livestock and agriculture has been hugely boosted. Just last year, 24 million animals were vaccinated and immunized through a food and agricultural organization project. The economy of Somalia depends upon livestock. And this year, I'm very pleased, they exported a record number. Five million livestock were exported. Somalia has many friends in the world and their efforts need to be brought together and that's something the UN helps to do through the New Deal Somali Compact. Somalia has at least 70% of its population under the age of 30, so this is one of the youngest countries in the world. And the youth as that I have met are full of energy, full of hope, they're very committed to education and they're very brave. I attended the TEDx event at the, the Lido Beach. Uh, absolutely full of talented young Somalis with great ideas. Um, here as well, you can see women playing a much, much bigger part, and I think in the next year we'll see them playing a bigger role in the political life of the country. We're here to provide strategic advice to the federal government and its institutions as it undertakes a really ambitious political project, federating the country, revising the constitution, democratizing, and we'll continue to support that process. And it's a Somali-owned process, a Somali-led process, and we will respect that as we have done. When we need to, we'll support, and when we don't, we step back uh, from the process as well. Ansom has worked uh, very, very closely with our partners in the African Union, AMISOM, uh, and uh, we have worked with them on stabilization, particularly after the success of AMISOM and Somali National Army in regaining territory and towns from Al-Shabaab. I pay tribute to all the colleagues in the United Nations system who are here, they've given up their families and their lives and jobs elsewhere, come to what is sometimes still a dangerous place, and we've sadly lost colleagues in these last two years. But they're determined, determined to help the Somali people to achieve their dreams, which are now within reach. <laughs>